Today we're going to be talking about spatial and intensity resolution of images. These are factors that deal with the quantization of images to digital form. Spatial resolution can be expressed as the number of pixels in the image, for example the number of rows and columns. Here we're showing an image that has 1024 by 1024 rows and columns. We can subsample that image to get down to a smaller size, here 512 by 512, and again 256 by 256, etc., all the way down to 32 by 32. So we are reducing the number, the amount of storage that is necessary um, to store this image. To see what this, these small images look like, we can zoom them back up to the original size, as shown here. Here we're just re-expanding by replication. So we're taking, oh, in the case of the 32 by 32 image, we're just replicating every pixel, in this case, um, by, I guess, 32 by 32 to get the, the uh, resulting image back up to 1024 by 1024. The other type of uh, uh, quantization that occurs is in gray levels. Um, so digital images are are stored in a uh, binary form with uh, k bits per pixel. So that means that we would have 2 to the k possible gray levels per pixel. So often that is uh, 8 bits per pixel, meaning that we have uh, 0 to 255 levels in our image. So this shows an example of reducing the number of bits per pixel starting from 8 bits to 7 to 6 bits per pixel, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So when we get down to 1 bit per pixel, we are really just dealing with a binary image that is 0 or 1. Um, you can see that the uh, degradation in quality is not really noticeable until you get down to maybe 4 bits per pixel. 4 bits per pixel would be 16 possible gray levels, and we're starting to see this type of uh, contouring here. I'm going to show an example of doing this type of these types of um, operations using MATLAB. Let's bring that over here. I'm going to bring in the cameraman image. So the cameraman image is a 256 by 256 image, 8 bits per pixel. I'm going to reduce it to 16 gray levels by dividing that image by 16. So that creates another image, also the same size, but um, where the values now range from 0 to 15. So to see that, I'll use IM tool. OK, so it doesn't look too bad if I bring up this tool that lets me look at the image values you can see that they, they basically range 0, 1, here's a 15, etc. Um, so the, another way I can do this is by anding the values with uh, a binary number. In this case, um, a 111000. So that is the decimal number 240. So that would zero out the lower four bits of each uh, pixel value, meaning that we would just be able to have values um, that occupied 16 possible values. Um, we can also use um, MATLAB to demonstrate spatial resolution. In that case, um, one way to do it would be to subsample the image using this notation. So this says, uh, take image I, take all rows from 1 to the end, so the, the last row, but increment by factors of 2. So this would give us row 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. And we could do the same thing for the columns. Let me go ahead and grab that again. So I would say I2 equals I 1 2 and 
1, 2, n. So now I get an image that is uh, size 128 by 128. Um, another way MATLAB does this is by using um, the resize function. So I am resize, um, resizes an image by a scale factor that you specify here. Just looking at the amount of storage that these effects have, um, we can easily calculate the number of bits by just multiplying number of pixels, n, in this case n by n, or m by n, times the number of bits per pixel, k. So this would be the total number of bits in the image with no compression. So we'll see what the, how we can do with compression a little bit later in the course. Um, we can also look at how to reduce storage in a simple way by, reduce, by sh reducing the spatial or gray level resolution. Um, either way can reduce the number of bits. Uh, which one is better to reduce kind of depends on the type of image. So an image that, I don't have a picture of it in the slides here, but um, that is highly detailed, like a picture of a crowd that has a lot of visual detail, it would be better to reduce the number of bits and keep the spatial resolution. An image that has a lot of smoothly varying regions, like a picture of a face, it would be better to reduce the um, spatial resolution and keep the number of bits.